How you guys doing? My name is Nick from Mr. Red Travel Quest and today we're going to be reviewing some headlight from Olight Arrays 2. I'm excited to review these things because, you know, on our trips across Texas, we go from, you know, cave tours, uh, underground caves, and of course hiking at night. We have purchased some lights in the past and some of the concerns that I have is the weight, uh, the durability, and, you know, we'll have to replace these things with batteries. Um, good things about these headlights is that they're USB-C charged, and I think they've, uh, they've been for about eight hours. I'll double check on that. Some of the concerns I have with these lights are, are the weight, the durability, and battery life, and especially if they're bright. Uh, you don't want to be outside in the dark, and you, you, know, you spend you know, 40, 50, even $100 on these lights, and they're crap. So in a few minutes, we're gonna go outside, check it out, and see what these lights are all about. What's nice about the array is that they have uh, three different modes. The three modes are Blood and Spotlight, Bloodlight, and Red Light. And what's cool is that you can wave your hand and it will change the light setting, the intensity of it. Uh, there's a low, mid, and high setting. The high setting is a thousand lumens. So I think this is the highest. So you put your hand in front of your, your face and swipe up. But if you want to bring it down, and this is a, it's pretty dark out here. There, there is some background light in my backyard. You know, in the background, there's some, some lights. But without the lights on, it's pretty dark and you can see it lit up. So right now, I'm going to turn it down with the wave of my hand. See, I think this is the mid setting and then this is the low setting. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's look at the low setting and look how it looks. And uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, I can see everything in my yard, low light. And obviously I'm not gonna be in my backyard when I'm using this um, device. I'll probably be on the trails at a state park or uh, cave exploring, or I might even use this setting for uh, whenever I uh, walk my dog. Now, I'm gonna wave my hand up. And then it's the mid setting. Um, the light is pretty bright and I uh, have great, uh, it's kind of cool seeing all these uh, these bugs out here. Um, but yeah, the, the light's pretty bright. I can see everything pretty clear. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know how many meters or how many feet I can see ahead of me, but uh, I can see my whole yard, no problems. Um, it's nice. Now we're gonna go with the highest setting. I'm gonna swipe up again. And this is the highest setting and it's pretty bright. And right now I have a lot of bugs coming to my face. Uh, I don't have any bug spray, but uh, it's pretty bright um, and it's nice. At the highest setting, the light array tools can last up to four hours. Walking around in my backyard, I could see everything in front of me with no issues. I also like how lightweight the headlight felt. Another cool feature I want to mention is the red indicator on the back. It not only tells you that you have a full charge, it also serves as a safety feature. One of the best features of the light arrays tools is the red light mode. I could see clearly during this mode and on the lowest setting they claim it can last over 15 hours. What's great about using red lights is that it's less blinding especially when on those camping trips or night hikes. It's less disruptive and distracting. If you stargaze the red light will create less light pollution and make it easier to see the stars. Here's some things that I loved about the arrays tools. The outstanding build quality is definitely a step up from the other lights that I have purchased in the past. They fit as they could fit larger head sizes. They were very comfortable. And of course, they're rechargeable. I don't know about you guys, but I hate looking for batteries. So I can just plug it up, USB, charge, and it takes about four hours for a complete charge. Now, the only con that I have about these headlights is how sensitive the wave function is. Now, Hiking, camping, I had no issues doing it, but if you're working around the house or maybe you're working on your vehicle, and you kind of wave your hand over at the light, it could adjust the, the brightness setting to a higher or lower setting. I wish there was some way to kind of either change it or even turn it off. But that's the only con that I have with these amazing headlights. So that being said, I'm happy uh, to share this with you guys. If you're looking to save money or even purchase a brand new headlight, check out Olight Fan Day starting September 20th, all the way to September 23rd, you can save up to 45% off. If you have any questions about the lights, please let me know. I'll leave the link to the official site in the description if you want to learn more. If you use headlights, what brand do you use? I would love to hear from you guys. 
And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel to learn all about traveling Texas and beyond. Thank you for watching my Olight Array 2 review. Until next time.